Hello, happy crafters. Happy Monday. I decided this month to join in the open collab, and it's hosted by Patty with Life with Patty and Kathy, Kathy's favorite thing. All you need to do to join the collab is do a hashtag Patty and Kathy's open collab, all lowercase and no separation. I'll put that in the description box below. So this is only their second month doing this. And this month's prompt is flowers. And there is such a wide variety of things that um, people are showing for flowers. Some people are showing their gardens. Some people are showing, you know, you could show flowered napkins, whatever you want, anything that has to do with flowers. So I thought this month I would hop on. Um, I made a card and an embellishment box, which I'll show you. Um, uh, the paper I used is Cartabella, and it's called Botanical Gardens. The paper is so thick and so incredible. I mean, you could pet it all day long. <laughs> the only problem with the paper is if you are folding it, and that's with any paper that's really thick, you have to really be careful and watch it because sometimes it cracks. So what I did is I actually put it in my printer and printed it on a thinner cardstock. So that way I could use it for the card and the envelope. And then I'll show you where else I used it. So this was just an envelope I made with that paper and just used the sticker. Nothing, you know, spectacular about that. And then this is the little card that's going to go in there. And for the person that is getting this, I think she already knows. And it's friends become our chosen family. And she definitely has become um, somebody special for myself and for my husband. But I don't want to say who it is because maybe she won't get it. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to be in a collab in a couple of weeks. And one of the... Parts of the collab is to do an embellishment box book. And I was sent a couple of links to um, follow. And the link that I used is from Christiane's Crafty Adventures. And this is the embellishment box I made. And it's flowers, y'all. <laughs> so the first time I made one, I totally... Um, Messed it up, which, you know, it, it's really easy. I'm not sure why I messed it up, but, you know, me and measurements and all those things, I have a hard time with all that. But this one actually is a keeper. It turned out pretty good. Um, this is the flower on the side, and all these flowers are Prima flowers, and I just use that to hold the trim, and I love these beautiful flowers. Aren't those so pretty? Ooh. I mean, they're stunning, and I didn't even have to wink them. <laughs> no wink is Stella required. So this is the box, and it does um, tie tight. I did overfill the embellishment parts, so I'm going to have to maybe um, take some out and then just send them separately. And then this is what it looks like from the side. It does look like a book, and here's what it looks like inside. I just love this. It is so easy, um, not complicated. If you just take the time to just sit for a second and read the directions, and she's very specific on how to do it. So if I can do it, y'all can do it. And the same thing I did here because this was going to have to be folded. This is actual um, copy paper, not the original paper. And then this also is copied because it folds right here. Now this is original. And then the embellishment box just opens. Mine's so full, I'm going to have to maybe take some things out. And she had said that she had wanted some um, rosettes out of cardstock. So I made her a bunch of rosettes, different kinds. And I also put in some of the... Uh, 
uh, if I can find them. Ooh, I did pull that. I did stuff that. Oops, sorry, my cat's trying to get in here. Oh, she can't ever leave me alone. <laughs> and I did put some of these in there. So I, I think she'll like it. Well, actually, I know she'll like it because she's not picky. <laughs> she's grateful for anything. So I hope you all think about joining in. It really is fun. And this embellishment box, like I said, if I can do it, you can do it. The only hard part for me once I figured out um, how to do it was taking an X-Acto knife and cutting out the window part and so it would fit nice so i hope you all think about you still have time if you want to join this morning and enjoy the pleasure of flowers today please go check out everybody in the collab i'm sending y'all big big hugs for y'all bye